Okay guys, let's go ahead and set up the cameras that we are gonna need here. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, doing it sort of quickly because uh, the focus of this uh, course is really on the lighting and the fluid simulation, not the camera setup because we have been talking about the camera stuff uh, so much in the uh, other two courses that we have, uh, premium courses that we have on our website at mographplus.com. That's why uh, I'm gonna be going uh, sort of quickly. So the first camera I'm gonna go ahead and set it up let's see before anything actually I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the uh, film uh, aspect is HD and that's the first thing I'm gonna do and also I'm gonna go ahead and apply a display tag to these where is the display tag there we go and uh, enable this use texture and turn off the texture so we can see our fluid a bit better and uh, this way, uh, setting up the cameras would be much more uh, quicker. Also, I'm going to my layers and uh, turn off the lighting in the viewer so we sort of can make sure uh, the scene isn't that cluttered and uh, we can easily work on it. And also, if you want, we can go ahead and actually turn on this uh, path here and actually let's uh, change their name to the uh, signs. There we go. Now that's much more better and also these two lights you can go ahead and turn them off there you go now much more better i'm gonna go ahead to this first camera and um, let's start working on it this is gonna be our first camera i think i'm gonna start in something like this at about frame 30 to let's see to something like frame 130 so about 100 frames so let's go ahead camera one 130 and I'm not gonna go and animate this thing directly uh, what I'm going to do is to create a null and then I'm going to get out of this camera for a moment let's see what we have here and then I'm going to put this null up also select the camera and make sure it's focus distance is sort of closer even though it doesn't matter this time but it's a uh, good thing to do so here is our first camera and that is the null that we have and I'm going to put this camera inside this null and also make sure the null has the same name as my camera just I'm gonna control V there and then I'm gonna get to that camera uh, let's go inside that camera to the object I'm gonna change the focal length to something like maybe uh, 20 so we have a bit more dramatic angle here and then I'm going to uh, first of all animate the uh, Y uh, coordinate of my null so I'm gonna get back to frame 30 and uh, click on this circle here and then go to frame 130 okay about let's go ahead and just put in there and I put my null down here so you can see we have this this sort of nice motion I don't want to really be that much just a simple motion I think would be enough okay so something like this maybe let's go now we have as you can see this motion the particles are coming and we get this nice motion and if we want we can actually go ahead and add some extra uh, rotation to our null so if I uh, I go ahead actually not in heading I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, if you go here to frame 100 to frame 30 and change it to 0 now if I go ahead and hit play we're gonna get this sort of nice motion and if I go ahead and render and uh, when you set up your cameras I'm gonna just make sure the scene is nice I go ahead and quickly render some parts to make sure the camera actually capturing some uh, nice motion so here is the uh, frame 97 that we have and if I go to the beginning let's see frame 117 let's go ahead and render these parts and see what we're gonna get um, this is our first camera. I think I'm gonna set up at least uh, about three or four cameras just to make sure we have 
enough information. The anti-aliasing is uh, a bit down here and we get these noises and uh, we're going to need to make sure we increase our anti-aliasing before we actually go through with the final render. Okay, so, okay, not too bad. We have some nice reflections here and some nice motions and that's good. So this is our first camera. Let me go ahead and set up the second camera. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and create the uh, another camera. This camera, I'm going to capture this stream that comes down here, this one. So let's see. I'm thinking of maybe going to something like this. Okay. And maybe in frame about 102 to about here maybe to about 179 so 100 that's gonna be our uh, camera 2 camera 2 102 and 179 let's go to 80 here and for this one I'm gonna go ahead and let's see this is a 20 by itself we can make it uh, much more but I'm gonna go ahead and actually just to make sure we have a bit more of a let's go to something like 45 in this case so we have a less perspective in our camera angle and um, I mean I guess we can make it a bit something like this so maybe about here okay that's cool 100 to 180 this could be our uh, second camera and we can add some really uh, quick motions just to make sure that our camera is not gonna be uh, just uh, sitting there still so I'm gonna go to the uh, frame 102 here and <clears throat> go to the Z position, go to frame 180 here, there we go. So let's go ahead frame 180 and just make sure the camera uh, is, sorry, actually it was which axis is gonna get us closer. None of them, we can actually go ahead and create a null or we can just simply uh, make sure our camera is getting a bit closer here maybe to something like this okay and that way we also need to actually go ahead and animate off all of the um, other guys so let's get back a bit and uh, again animate them and this way we're gonna get just a hint of motion and I think that would be enough doesn't have to be such a big deal just a small motion uh, what I'm going to do just to make sure the motions are nice I'm gonna right click on this camera and go to the show F curves you can see we have all of these guys I'm gonna uh, select all of them and hit S uh, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and change is I just I don't want this slowing and this speeding up and this slowing down because we have this first motion of our camera here that was coming down and if we uh, go ahead and start uh, moving our camera from still to you know gradually speeding up it will really uh, our scene will lose the continuity that we need so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the cameras uh, after the first camera are gonna be starting in this way so they have this constant speed at the beginning and uh, then their speed are gonna uh, change maybe we can actually go ahead because this is a um, motion that happens in the middle go ahead and change the guys also the Y even though the motion is very small but let's go ahead and make this guys sort of linear here and this way will help our camera to stay uh, at its constant speed so this is our uh, second camera so there we go I'm going to just uh, make sure to save as this guy so 0402 I'm going to create uh, another camera so let's go ahead and create another camera I'm gonna go to that camera here and this camera will be possibly the one that is going to be covering this nice motion here so I'm going to get closer 
Okay, go to the camera. I'm gonna change the focal length to something like 20 or maybe let's go to something more normal like um, maybe 34. Okay, uh, I think the default value is, oh sorry, 36 and okay let's go ahead and get back here I'm gonna go to this camera this camera is gonna be a still camera because I really wanna um, focus the viewers attention on the motion of the fluid and not the cameras motion so I'm going to my coordinates here let's change the uh, banking value a bit here some nice weird twisted angle there we go I can't even go higher a bit but I think this is gonna be enough and um, let's see what else I'm gonna do no this is gonna be enough yeah I think we're we're good to go and we possibly want this thing to start at about here at about frame uh, 184 and then comes down and maybe 271 so camera 3 184 271 this is our third camera and then we're working on our uh, third camera let's go ahead and just save the scene I'm gonna create another camera so let's go ahead uh, to our a default camera and I'm gonna go create another camera this camera will be uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and create a morph camera for this one because this one I'm gonna go ahead and cover uh, this part of the motion this one here that comes up and create this sort of nice motion here let's see so we're gonna have about two cameras let me go ahead and uh, start creating and working with the basic movement here so let's see we have these guys let me just go ahead alt and G and these guys are gonna be our cameras and the other camera I'm gonna go ahead and maybe about frame 415 okay let's go ahead uh, go inside this camera okay I'm just going to design a first motion here and then I will be working more on it so let's see I'm gonna go to this camera make sure we have a really something like 15 very wide okay and maybe something like this okay and then this is our first camera for the moment and then I'm going to create another camera with something like maybe 36 here and go to that camera and this is gonna be the final shot so I'm gonna go ahead to so we can see the entire logo I'm gonna go to my coordinates uh, change the X to 0 so the logo is exactly and change the uh, heading and pitch also to 0 and I'm gonna just go ahead and put it up something like this it would be great so this is our second camera and this is our first camera and the first camera I still have a lot to do with but uh, just to have a basic setup here so I'm going to select my first and my second camera go to your cameras and here you got the uh, camera morph so click on the camera morph uh, you can see the camera morph and it's null and we have two cameras camera one and camera two which is this one and that one and we can go see this morph camera and you can see we can go ahead and animate between those, ca those two cameras really easily now before animating anything I want to go ahead and start working on this um, first camera what I'm going to do is to go ahead and add a null to the scene as we've done it before I'm going to uh, just make sure all the other cameras are uh, not going to be visible so we can uh, easier uh, set up uh, this camera much more easier here so I'm gonna go ahead we have this null I'm gonna put it up there maybe let's see where exactly we want this node to be somewhere about maybe here this is gonna be a good center point okay and just make sure we're having it in the middle of our uh, logo here and I'm gonna put this first camera as the uh, let's see as the child of this node 
and I can go ahead and start working on the animation. I'm gonna go to something uh, at the beginning frame was 415, I guess. So let's get back to that frame. Okay, that is uh, our first. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, the only thing I need for the null is the rotation. So let's go ahead and animate all of the rotation values at frame 415 and they are coming about here let's see actually I want this final um, shot of this camera to be in here so maybe let's go to something like 572 so I am going to let's go to 600 just to be a bit more exact here and animate these guys again back to the uh, first uh, frame I'm gonna select this null and kind of rotate it to something like this just go a bit crazy don't shy away just do whatever you feel that it is right I'm gonna go to this null and there we go now we have this sort of motion it's come through and we get these nice motions uh, there okay and we still have the ability to simply go ahead and maybe just make something like this from the camera there we go and now we can go ahead and animate the morph so I'm gonna go ahead to frame about 600 or 590 animate the blend amount and go to last frame and animate it fully there so now our morph camera is gonna be uh, quite nice so we can see uh, we have the uh, first camera's movement and then it comes through and we have this I'm gonna just go ahead and quickly adjust some of the motions of this null I'm gonna go to my show F curve uh, as you can see we have the X uh, H P and B I'm gonna go to the uh, F curve and make sure the show all tracks is disabled and the H let's go and hit S here select this S okay that's a bit weird because we selected just this guy so I can hit edge but let's let's go ahead select both of this hit S and let's go ahead and make sure this first movement is a bit more of a linear motion and the same thing is gonna happen for the other frame other uh, guys here other curves let's go ahead there we go now and uh, for the morph camera also I'm gonna right click on the blend go to the animation and show F curve and we're gonna be doing the same thing for this curve also okay maybe make this even a bit more dramatic so let's hold on control and drag it a bit there we go and this is basically the camera step let's go ahead and uh, alt G this is going to be our morph camera morph camera 400 415 715 there we go I'm going to save this scene and um, that's it I'm gonna put this inside the cameras and this way we have all of our situation in one nice simple cameras here okay and I can go ahead and create a layer for my cameras so cameras and let's put those guys inside these 